Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be shooting the Glock 43 at 200 yards. That's going to be the white paper to the left of your screen over there, right? The left side. Um, let me zoom this back out. One power. So I've d I did this once before. The last time I did this, I did not have uh, extra ammunition with me. Um, I just had what I had in my carry gun. Um, but today I got more 9mm. So I want to try and... Uh, see how many hits i can get at 200 yards with the glock 43 so this is a polymer 80 that i have built it's got the house on uh 507k i carry this with the circle only so i don't carry it with the dot and circle and at 200 yards the way i'm holding is i'm putting the bottom of my circle to the top of the paper i, I saw that last time i was able to get one hit i think it was one hit out of seven uh, so let's see how I do today, right? because now I'm going to go through two magazines, so I'm going to put out the 13 rounds. I am going to be shooting this rested, okay, which is the only way I can imagine shooting 200 yards. All right, so let's give this a go. Let's try to get comfortable with this. seven use the extra mag I and mean, it's not easy it's like compared to shooting a rifle usually with the rifle my reticle doesn't move off target as much as this is moving i mean this is clearly moving off the target when i press the trigger when, when the gun recalls so i mean at 200 yards i also got a wind i think the wind is mostly coming straight in but still even if you got like a little bit of pressure to the right or to the left it can, it can throw it off so Alright, so we got six rounds in this mag. Yeah, let's load up at least one mag so we'll go out there and a bear or something pops out of woods. We're not completely defenseless. Not that that's likely to happen. Uh, bears in this part of the country, they're very docile. Black bears, or uh, whatever. But I just kind of feel weird um, going, you know, moving around without a loaded gun on me. Gun. All right, let's go down range. See what I got out of 13 rounds. Let me pause you guys. Moving towards the target. I considered bringing a larger gun, like a Glock 17 or something, to do this test. But I'm like, you know what? Let's see what the Glock 43 can do. That's what I carry around. If there was ever like a real issue, um, I, you know, I would have to be using a Glock 43. All right, guys, out of 13 shots that I fired at 200 yards, we got two hits. One, two. Ignore the circles. That's from earlier when I was shooting at 300 yards with the, uh, the seven and a half inch AR. Um, I already posted a video on that. So with the Glock 43 pistol at 200 yards, uh, holding with my the bottom of my 32 mm waist circle at the top of this target right here, right? That's where I, I centered my circle. Um, I'm able to get two hits. Now, the last time I shot this, I think I only fired one magazine, seven rounds, and I got one hit. And I think that was like way off to the side over here. So now I got two hits that are centered. Uh, wind doesn't seem to be much of an issue today because it's, when it does, uh, when I do get wind, it's, it's either blowing straight out or straight in. Um, 
So basically what's happening here is the, the, sh the shot group opened up, right? It did open up. So most of the shots probably went around the paper. Um, but, uh, but we can say that at 200 yards, we could put effective fire on target. Okay. We could put effective fire where let's say you got uh, some, some nut, you know, with a rifle, let's say that's shooting at you from 200 yards. Obviously at 200 yards, he can, he can hit you, right? Right. For all you guys, a pistol, but you can put effective fire at least enough to like get him to start thinking about something, you know, about protecting himself rather than let's say shooting at you because we can get here two hits. And this paper is about 22 inches across. So it is a man sized target. So, um, you know, shooting a pistol at 200 yards, you know, w w I mean, it is doable. And like I said, I'm using a Glock 43. So with a larger pistol, it would probably be a lot easier. It was definitely tiring. I mean, I got a stock trigger on this, right? This is like a, a, a stock, Okay, hold it up here to the light. All right, so you can see again. So that's a stock trigger. Um, you know, uh, you know, it's got a two precision slide, two precision barrel, um, armor ally frame. The the parts. Um, I think the 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 the, the trigger parts. They was I think they were supposed to be like Glock OEM, like. Low, Glock OEM frame parts. I doubt it. I'm pretty sure it was a knockoff because I, I, unless you get it directly from a Glock, from from Glock itself, you're probably getting counterfeit knockoffs. Um, the slide parts are definitely aftermarket. The original, um, the original firing pin broke like within like I think 100 rounds. The the the, the, the firing pins that you get on these guns, the aftermarket firing pins are garbage. The one I have is from a. Uh, um, from uh, aim surplus, the billet one, those are good. Those are holding up. They're not breaking. You know, even with the high rounds that I do, the aim surplus um, billet firing pins for the Glock 43 are good. They're holding up good. That's what I'm carrying. Um, I, hey, I'm I'm pretty satisfied. 200 yards, two hits with uh, two. You know, out of two magazines. Uh, you know, I think uh, much better than I, I, I was I I would normally expect, but not so much because, like I said, the last time I fired one magazine, I got one hit. So this time I fired two magazines, I got two hits. I'm definitely starting to get a sense of what to expect from this. I'm gonna mark this up and we'll take another hit. We'll take another shot at this thing. If I do better, I'll I'll post a video. Uh, if I don't, then it's you know because <laughs> sometimes the wind picks up and stuff like that and it throws the shots off. So, uh, but I, I'm I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah, so I decided to take a throw another two magazines at this and we'll see what we what it is. Whatever it is, it is. I mean, you know. Um, so yeah, the, now the ammunition I'm using is basically uh, cellular belt, basically cheap target ammunition. This is the stuff I carry. I mean, uh, now the stuff I shot before was not, um, was not, uh, cellular belt. That was actually a bulk, uh, CCI, I think, blazer. I mean, it was brass, but I, I, I think I bought that thousand round loose ammo. That's why, what I carry, the reason why I carry it is because that's the stuff I practice with, right? Doesn't make, to me, it does not make sense to, to, to practice with one type of ammunition, shoot a different type of ammunition. So, I, I carry I carry the stuff that I practice with, and likewise, like like on any given day, you know, if I'm carrying the gun, I, I'm I'm on the range, I'll just take it out, and I'll just start shooting, you know, at the targets, um, without concern of hey, oh, I got the expensive, I got the hollow points, I, I don't want to shoot this ammo, you know, I, I don't I don't carry ammunition unless I'm willing to shoot it and practice with it. So let's uh, let's do the same thing. All right, we're holding with the 32 mm uh, the 32 mm circle to the top of the uh, top of the paper target. Now, elbows not being rested on anything, like just being like this on the bag. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, it, it, I mean, it's obviously not as good as if I had, I was better braced. So this is kind of like realistic shooting, right? If you're going to be shooting at distance like this in a real shit hit the fan type of situation, this is probably as, as good as it's going to get. <laughs>
Let's load up the mag and we'll go down range and take a look see what we did. I'm going to make sure I load up the mag so I don't get busy doing other stuff and then just forget to load up the mag and I'm just carrying around an empty gun later on. All right, let's go take a look see. Uh, so here it is, guys. Uh, this time, no hits. I mean, you know, that, I mean, that's reality. I mean, uh, and the reason why I'm posting this is just, you know, don't expect that, you know, I mean, don't expect that you're going to get a lot of hits. So I, I post the good and the bad. So, you know, we keep everything real here. Everybody knows what to realistically expect with this. So the first time I shot this, I got two out of 13 Second time I shot this, and I, and I felt that my hold was good, my trigger squeeze was good. I think there was only two of them where the trigger squeeze was was off a little bit. The rest of them, I it seemed like I was holding center, um, and uh, this time I got no hits. So, but uh, at least you know, like to put like uh, at least to put suppression fire on the target at 200 yards. Basically, you hold the bottom of your 32 mm circle to the top of your target. And you you will put effective suppression fire on the target. Talk to you guys soon.